Happy Pokemon Day! <laughs> so yeah, apparently February the 27th is Pokemon Day. And as you guys may or may not know, I am a huge Pokemon fan. And I'm sure many of you guys are too. So um, the way I found out about this is Pokemon actually tweeted about this just yesterday. Look, February 27th is Pokemon Day. Looking for ways to celebrate? We got you covered with this cute little image. <laughs> so yeah, happy Pokemon Day. So I thought we'd read through what on earth they're going to be doing on Pokemon Day and see if we can get involved. And I've got a surprise for you. We're going on a nostalgia trip. It's going to be epic. So first off, we've got... Oh, yes. The new Pokemon Go thing. So not only have they released Generation 2 on Pokemon Go just a couple weeks ago, but today they are releasing another special Pikachu. So in the holiday time, they released the holiday Pikachu, which had the Santa hat on, and now they've got the Celebration Pikachu. So... Let's see if we can pick one up. I know I'm just in my office right now. I'm not going to leave the house to try and get this because last time I actually got it live on stream. The Santa Pikachu, that is. I actually got it live on stream sitting in this chest. So let's see if I can get another Pikachu by not even leaving the house. Okay, I'm loaded up. And what have I got nearby? Is that a Mr. Mime, a Hoot Toot, a Letty Bar? What just turned up? A Swinub, Bellsprout, and a couple others as well. That's pretty cool. And as you can see, I haven't really been playing Pokemon Go that much. <laughs> so what I'm going to do actually is pop off an incense and see if we can grab ourselves one of those Pikachus by the time this video is finished. So that's going. I'm going to leave it down here and see if we can grab one because that would be awesome. And even if you're not moving, I think you get one Pokemon every five minutes while you've got incense running. So that's pretty cool. The rest of the stuff is in like Pokemon video games. You can watch all of the uh, the movies and episodes and stuff. They're releasing more. And oh yeah, this. <laughs> I should have shown this. What have we got? We got something. Oh, wait, wait. Hold the phone. I've got a Sentrit. And I don't actually have a Sentrit for some reason. So let's grab one of these. I think Sentrit's like the new Ratata. I'm not 100% sure. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Boom. Sentrit is mine. Not the Pikachu we were after, but hey. It's still a new Pokemon. I got a mad amount of experience for that as well. Welcome to the team. So that must have been from my incense because there's none of those nearby. But yeah, this is what the festive Pikachu looks like. It's got like a little party hat on it. So I definitely want one of those. Because I'm assuming like last time you can evolve this Pikachu into a festive Raichu, which would be really awesome. But yeah, I'll leave a link to all this stuff in the description below so you can check it out. Because right now, I've got something special to share with you. Now, because it's Pokemon Day, I thought I would go back and play one of the Pokemon games that took up a lot of my life and it was on the Nintendo 64 and it was two games actually it was Pokemon Stadium 1 and Pokemon Stadium 2 now these were games that would allow you to take your Pokemon from your Game Boy cartridge pop it into a special thing on the controller yeah which is one of these so this thing right here fit into the back of your Nintendo 64 controller you put your Game Boy cartridge in and then you could transfer the Pokemon from your like Pokemon yellow and blue and stuff like that into the game and fight in 3D. It was super awesome, but what made it even more awesome is they added in mini games. Now, these mini games took up so much of mine and my brother's life, it is insane. So today I'm gonna relive that and show you some because it's awesome. Because. Yes. Yes, and we're going to start with Pokemon Stadium 1. So Pokemon Stadium 1 contains all of the Pokemon from Generation 1. Then Pokemon Stadium 2 uh, starts introducing stuff like the Pokemon that have started appearing in Pokemon Go. Look at this. It's so retro. There might be some graphical issues with this because I'm recording it in a weird way. But um, bear with me. This game is is hilarious. And yeah, you can already see Bulbasaur's eye ain't looking too hot, is it? But let's head into the game, and if we go into Pokemon at Stadium, I'll quickly show you what the battles are all about. Here we go, so check this out. I won't do a whole battle, I just wanted to show you what this game's all about. So you can take your Pokemon, as I mentioned earlier, from your cartridges into this, where it's all like 3D and stuff, and this was a massive thing back in the day, because Pokemon used to look like this. Not like it does now in Sun and Moon, so I could do this, let's do a big old Hydro Pump to the face of this Paris. Here we go. Watch this. Please connect. Please connect. Boom. Yes. <laughs> that is a powerful Paris. Jeez. And a weird thing in this game is you could actually rename your Pokemon and they'd appear in different colors in this game, which is why his Paris is really, really red for some reason. It's pretty crazy, but also for its time, 
phenomenal. There was like no internet. It was very, very new. Internet in gaming was literally zero back then, so you couldn't even transfer your games. And it was awesome. But what we really want to get to is the mini games, because that's where it gets amazing. Here we go, Kids Club. Right, let's just do pick a game. Whoa! I told you there'd be some weird graphics. <laughs> Looks like Missing Noah's visited already. Right, we're ready. Let's go for com level hard. And they are actually really difficult. And we've got nine mini games that we can play. So first off, let's do Magikarp Splash because this is amazing. So we need to make Magikarp Splash as high as possible to hit the counter and just literally get the most points. So let's start the game and let's do this. You have to time this perfectly. So here we go. Watch this. <laughs> In go the Magikarps. No. No, I'm doing badly. You have to hit the A button just before he hits the floor and he flops up a lot higher. Here we go. This is it. Guys, I'm taking the lead. I think I'm taking the lead. Oh, it's close with someone else. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Magic Cup. Flop as hard as you can. You can do this, buddy. Yes. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> so weird. Oh, the magic of Pokemon Stadium. Right, what should we go for next? Let's go for Sushi Go Round. Lickitung is the star of this game, and you literally have to eat as much food as possible that has the most value. So you want to hit those big red sushis on the top left. They're worth a thousand. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do this. Uh, mine isn't moving. He's not moving. He's not moving. Guys! Ah! Is it? Yeah, it's working now. Okay, right. So we're the blue one. We want to grab these red ones. There we go. And if you get more than one in a row, you get like a double boost, which is pretty cool. And you don't want to hit the wasabi because that makes you go all green and weird. <laughs> I told you this game was awesome and extremely strange. Come on, come on, come on. There's the red ones. Give me those thousand poker dollar sushis. How long have we got left? How long have we got left? I'm just grabbing as much as possible. The red player has gone absolutely insane because he's eating wasabi. Come on, give me just any. I can get any right now. There's a red one. There's a red one. There's a red one. No. No, he stole it from me. Here's another one. Right, we can do this. I haven't got that many plates, but I think I've gained quite a lot of the expensive sushi. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. It's running out of time. It's running out of time. It's running out of time. Come on. Are we done? Oh, did we win? Did we win? The numbers have gone a bit crazy. No. Oh, he came second. He got 5,950. That's a very expensive sushi meal. Jeez. Oh, oh, guys, quick pause for Pokemon Go. We've got ourselves a Teddy Ursa has appeared. Hey, buddy. It's a 474 as well. So let's see if we can grab this. Uh, oh, I missed. Did I get it? Did I get it? Come on, Teddy Ursa. You got this, bro. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Getting an Ursa ring would be absolutely phenomenal. There we go. Teddy Ursa added to the Pokedex. There he is. Looking good, buddy. He looks really cute. <laughs> I've got 18 minutes left on my incense, so we should play some more mini games. What's my other favorite on this one? I think I'm going to go for the... I'm going to go for Run, Ratata, Run. So I need to just jump and run. Is that it? Okay, that's fine. Here we go. We need to mash this button as quickly as possible. Which one are we? The top one? Here we go. Ha! No! Why did you miss? Why did you miss? Jump! There we go. That's much better. Come on, buddy. I'm really, really behind. Come on. Yes! No! Why are they appearing so quickly? I swear I'm getting more hurdles than the others. Ah, my thumb. My thumb. Inserting. I switched to my finger. Here we go. No! Oh! Oh. Um. Yeah, we came last. We definitely came last. That's a little bit embarrassing, isn't it? My Rattata is literally dead. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so there are a few more games on here to play, but I want to quickly switch over to Pokemon Stadium 2 before we run out of time, because there's more mini games on there. You ready for it? Ready? There we go. <laughs> so as you can see here, look, the gold and silver generation is introduced. And you can get some of, I think you can get all of these guys at the beginning in Pokemon Go now, which is really cool. <laughs> look at that ditto. <laughs> Ditto is literally a weird pointy hand. <laughs> okay, where do we need to go for this one? Mini games. There we go. Okay, here are the mini game choices for this game. So we've got Pichu up in here, Mr. Mine, we've got Furret, Scyther, Pinsir, Hitmontop, Golbat, Eevee, Chansey, Delibird, Togepi, Igglybuff, and Cleffa, and Domfan as well. Um, which one should we play? I want to go for Barrier Ball, actually. This one's really, really glitchy. <laughs> See, look, they've all got different names, so they're all different colors. That was unique to this particular franchise. Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, I believe, were one of the only two games to do that. These aren't shiny Pokemon. They're just 
strangely colored. That guy on the end looks a little bit ill. Okay, right, you ready? Barrier ball. This is literally a four-way Pong game. So we're on the top left, and then we need to bash these Pokeballs around. And oh, jeez, you see that? That was crazy. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, it's really, really quick. Bam, there we go. Nice, and uh, no, I just... <laughs> If you let one in, then you lose a point, and the person whose color ball it is will gain a point. So, we need to be very, very good here. We've got literally, literally zero points. Yes! Oh, I just gained a point! That's what I'm talking about. And you can kind of curve the ball as well if you do a shifty move like this. There we go. Did you see that? Oh, oh, it's getting fast. It's getting fast. Oh, I just scored two points. Yo, no, I just lost one as well. That yellow just took the lead. I am going to get you, punk. I like how you got to bash around the Pokeballs as well. That's really cool. <laughs> Yo, I just scored another point. That's perfect. No, yellow wins. Man, yellow with the yellow Mr. Mime. Oh, next Pokemon is another Sentrit. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the Pikachu. Give me some luck on Pokemon Day, please. Also, check this out. Pikachu's face changes. Look, he's happy that you want to play again. He's also kind of happy that you want to play a different game. But if you quit, he will cry. Don't quit. Don't make Pikachu cry. Don't be that guy. Okay, next we're going to do Steaming Stampede. This is one of the ones that me and my brother used to play all the time because it gets absolutely nuts. All you need to do is count the Pokemon, which sounds easy. But really, it's absolutely insane. And you will see why. This is also on the hardest difficulty mode as well. So here we go. Count every Pokemon that's a Pichu. So just Pichus we need to count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Is it just seven? It's seven. Ha! Green, you got it wrong. <laughs> there we go. So um, it does get harder. I promise you, every round it gets harder. Right, Voltorb is up next. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, geez. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen. Fifteen or sixteen. I don't know which one it was. They're clicking like crazy. Oh, it's half and half. No! I got it wrong. I can't believe it. I told you it gets difficult. Right, Magnetons now as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're throwing other Pokemon into the mix as well. That was definitely six. A hundred percent six. Eight! Where did you get eight from, you crazy man? Magnemites. Magnemites are up next. Come on. One, two, three. <laughs> Random. Mag Cargos and Psyducks. I think I got it right, though. I think I got it right. Ten. Oh, was it ten? It was ten. Take that, punk. Last question. Every single Pokemon. We need to get every single one. One, two, three. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me right now? There's no way I can get this right. <laughs> They're coming out of the floor. They're doubled up. Oh, I'm just going to do an extra one for luck and see if this works. There's more coming because they're looking to the right-hand side. It's very, very slow. Very slow. <laughs> there is no way I got that right. Here comes the big build-up. Here we go. I've got 55 points. I'm going to lose. Someone got it right. No, 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 no. They just overtook me with 75 points. That's insane. Good job, Green. Good job. Well done, buddy. Well done. I don't care how much you cry, Pikachu. I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's do one final check on Pokemon Go. And no, no, no Pikachu to be found. I didn't even get another encounter from my incense. Duh. No, nothing's going to spawn. So there you go. That was my little celebration for Pokemon Day. I really hope you enjoyed it. That was tons of fun for me. I haven't played that game in so long and... It's fun <laughs> and also crazy. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it from me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you love Pokemon Day as much as I do, then please leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, thank you guys again so much for watching. Have an amazing Pokemon Day, and I will see you guys in the next one. But before you go, why don't you check out when we played Pokemon Snap a few months ago. I think you'll enjoy it. If you love this video and this game, you'll love this too. Go and check it out. It was tons of fun.